Welcome to the online tour by Main Story Gallery. Today I'll be walking you through the first of our collection called The Adoration of the Magi by Peter Bruegel. Peter Bruegel is considered one of the greatest Flemish painters of the 16th century. He painted vibrant landscapes and often woody scenes of peasant life, and they are particularly renowned. From humble beginnings, Peter was born in a peasant family near Breda in the Netherlands between 1525 and 1530. During his artistic career, he worked alongside many well-known artists, and he even took a research trip through Italy. Although the Italian Renaissance did not heavily influence his artistic style, the Italian countryside that he visited during this trip did. He would paint these scenic landscapes, and while working for his employer, would often include humorous themes and motives, earning him the nickname of Peter the Droll. Some would describe him as quiet and prudent, with a few words, but yet his work was bold and amusing to society. Peter stayed in Antwerp until 1563, when he married his wife, Macon, and moved to Brussels. He stayed in Brussels until his death on September 9th of 1569. He had two sons, Peter Bruegel the Younger and John Bruegel the Elder, both of which became painters following their father's footsteps. This dynasty of painters would last well into the 18th century. Peter Bruegel the Elder painted three paintings of Christ's birth during his artistic career. The one that we have displayed here is not the original, but it is one of the first of three that have the same name and that art historians believe to be in a series of Christ's birth. The original is 48 inches by 66.5 inches and is located in Brussels at the Royal Museum of Fine Arts. Peter Bruegel used warm paintings to provide a stark contrast between the image of Jesus and the environment around him. Here in the center of our painting is depicted the Holy Family, and they're surrounded by a jumble of images. If you look closely, some of these faces seem scared, even to the point of distortion. In the center, we have the Holy Family surrounded by a jumble of images. You see, Bruegel was a very detailed artist, and every detail he provided in his paintings had a symbolic meaning. Bruegel lived in the time that was politically troubling. He lived when there was conflict between the Protestant and Catholic Church in their communities, that even the Spanish Inquisition had to come in and diminish some of the protests that were happening. People lived in fear, hunger, and death. Bruegel used his paintings to make statements to society. Even in his paintings, he wanted to invoke some of the life that he lived through in the 16th century and depict some of the people from his time. As we look through the painting, you'll see some of the faces of the people near Jesus are also in fear, almost to the point of distortion. The farther away the people are from Jesus, the more their faces become almost unrecognizable as they seem unaware of what is happening. This was meant to illustrate that during the 16th century and during these conflicts, people became so numb that they were unaware of the events happening around them. Bruegel wanted to illustrate this and also influence people who were looking at this painting to think about if Jesus had been born during this time, these people would also not be aware of his birth. The implications and lessons we can take away from this painting are significant. Bruegel wanted to give the message that anyone can come to Jesus, no matter their wealth, no matter their status, no matter their sins. If we truly seek Jesus, repent of our sins, and turn to him, he will forgive us and give us his salvation. In addition, Bruegel also wanted us to notice the others around us, their pain, their suffering, but also their joy. Let us not become spiritually blind. Let us notice the others around us, and let us notice Christ's invitation to salvation. Don't be blind as you seek Him, because He calls you and welcomes you home.